this morning after after the Pacers got that hand whistle? Uh, very very positive. Um, you know, a, a strong intent to uh, work together, to understand it's a process, to be patient, but you know, to look at where we're going wrong. And, um, you know, a very healthy film session, a lot of conversation, a um, couple really helpful discussions, you know, to just to br try to bring some clarity to some of the coverages that uh, we're breaking down on, um, you know, both with regard to new coverages to fit our personnel and the way we do things in the past, you know, with our new, new personnel and, and just demonstrating uh, the, the, the details, right? The, the details of, of our defense are everything. And every time we're together and every time we play a game, um, we, f we learn a little bit more, you know, by, by being in these practice situations. They're, they're not obviously practice situations, it's the game. We we're trying to win, but, you know, each time we're, we're out there, uh, it's more experience in our system. And, um, you know, today was a great growth day for us. You guys obviously had different ways that the frustration came out uh, as a group last night. I think the numbers showed you guys missed 12 layups. And because you guys have such a high standard of what you expect out of the group, and then you fail to execute with like a simple play, is that something that could snowball? Um, do you think that that had any effect on, on the mentality of the team? Well, yeah. When you're not, you're not. When you're executing well and, and getting the shot you want and missing it, you know, and all of a sudden the scoreboard, the deficit keeps growing. You know, it certainly adds to the, you know, to, to the frustration and. Um, you know, so I think all those things contribute. But again, you, you look at the hindsight of, of you know the, the plays that we we did execute really well, uh, didn't get the payoff. Sometimes there's going to be games like that. Um, but against a team like Phoenix that has continuity and has been in the finals last year, um, the margin for error is very slim. You know, so you can't afford that, and you can't uh, you know the, the, the miscues at the rim, and you can't afford you know to let it cloud your focus. Frank, did. Um what was Wayne able to do today on court wise? Is he trending towards a return? Anything yeah, he's still day to day. I'm not. I'm not sure exactly what he did on the court. Our group only walked through stuff, um, so I'm not sure if he did pre-practice work or not. Um, you know, but he'll be out tomorrow again, and um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, sometime next week he'll return. But uh, he's still day to day, right? Just in terms of hustle, we didn't see Dwight out there. Was he at practice today? Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned uh, a couple of days ago that you weren't necessarily committed to this starting group, and then you started them again the second game. Uh, how, how do you evaluate them through two games and kind of moving forward? Are you planning on sticking with the starting group, or are you still considering other options? Uh, after each game, we'll consider uh, each option. And um, you know, I'm not going to release who we're starting tomorrow yet. Um, but there's some good and some bad you know, with that group. And you know, what we have to, what we have to evaluate, where, where I'm trying to evaluate is, you know, the, the areas that um, are bad, you know, there are a lot of them are correctable, you know, in terms of execution with that group, you know, that could that they'll have that group be more successful, you know, more than, you know, just like uh, fundamentally they don't fit together because of whatever the skill set, shooting, size, like speed, all those types of things. Um, you know, you look at them sort of separately, you know, and right now, uh, it feels like you know our execution uh, for the details of our defense in particular um, can really be a lot better, and then you know obviously some offensive spacing things as well. So uh, you know we're still a work in progress, and we're still evaluating. What, I was just gonna say, like kind of along those lines, um, some of these errors are. are we're kind of like of the to be expected. I think variety, right? Um, we talked about adding different players. And, Loving guys and stuff like that. Um, have, have some of the errors been also more self-inflicted than, than you'd expect. Some of the things, like in terms of like big, to start the second half, right? Like be just like on a, on a just a straight cut to the rim, um, stuff like that. Is, is that been surprising? Um, not really. You know, that's Brown will get beat by that from time to time. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he's very locked into the ball, and you know, sometimes he gets beat. That's that's not something that's abnormal for us, quite frankly. Um, I do think that we have to continue to build our conditioning. So the extra effort plays, you know, are more prevalent. You know, there, there were some uh, great effort plays that uh, really, you know, energized the group, but not enough of them. And too many plays where an extra effort could have changed the outcome that we didn't make, you know. So, um, 
you know, but I think it's early in the season and <laughs> we got a veteran group that is still getting their legs under them, you know, so it's that and the rhythm and timing. You talk about the extra plays, LeBron had that like chase down play on Cam Johnson, you know, where he challenged at the rim and ended up forcing the miss, but then he didn't come back offensively and it ended up getting like three shots on that possession. Like, how do you look at a sequence like that? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we want everybody to change ends. Um, but the bigger thing is, you know, to, you know, the, the, the one that stuck out to me was when he when he busted over a screen with Crowder and got a deflection and went and, and triggered a break for us. You know, um, you know, those are the things that while our, our, our the rest of our guys are, are executing within our defense, you know, as to where to be and where to go. Like, can they just bring an extra level of physicality and uh, disruption, you know, to their defensive mindset? Quick follow on the conditioning aspect. Well, you guys just have to use the games to get that view. back to back coming up. Obviously, you know, today was a film session type of day. Part of why we played the fourth quarter the way we did. Yes, you know, these guys got to blow it out, um, you know, and, and work as hard as they can in these games because we're not, you know, these are going to be recovery days, you know, especially this week. We got the back to back coming up and uh, not a lot of practice days. So, you know, they have to use the games to play to exhaustion and to continue to, uh, you know, build their conditioning.